My name is Frank Wallace. I've been um, with A Safe Haven uh, for seven years. Um, initially, I was uh, brought on as a case manager uh, uh, for a residential men's program, individuals, um, homeless men. Uh, I got involved in, um, I have a background in substance abuse, and uh, I'm a CADC, so a certified alcohol substance abuse counselor. My core belief is that um, putting through somebody through treatment for substance abuse um, and then just sending them back out to the community leads to a lot of recidivism. Um, you have to address those core issues. You have to address the lack of education. You have to address the, the lack of training. Um, you have to address uh, um, you know, the economical issues, uh, you know, get them some training, get them placed in a job so that they can earn a livable wage and then ultimately uh, work on getting them placed into a stable home, uh, you know, housing um, that they can maintain, you know. Um, Judith, who is my, now my boss, um, she was working in our youth program with uh, the overnight youth shelter. Um, and when she came up into workforce, she asked me if I would be interested in coming and taking on a new program that they were um, launching, which was EPIC. Uh, working with people who were um, on food stamps um, and basically doing a lot of the same things that I was doing on the residential program but having people coming in from the community um, who are facing various challenges whether those be substance abuse, uh, again educational issues, lack of training. I thought it was a perfect fit for what I do, um, what my personal uh, goals are with regard to my job and uh, that's just to help people and to address the issues, whatever it is that they're facing, address those issues um, and give them a chance to be successful. I get a great deal of joy um, having, you know, Victoria here with me because um, she's one of the people who took advantage of those services. There's a, so many people who don't take advantage of the services. It breaks my heart because it's something that all you have to do is apply yourself and we have the resources and we have the, um, the path already laid out you know all you have to do is just trust in it and get involved in it and commit to it you know and uh, the people who do that are a hundred percent successful the people who commit themselves to it and do it all of them come out of this um, with some type of certification employment and um, those things that they need to be able to sustain themselves we had a total of, uh, I think there was 435 referrals through DHS for specifically for the EPIC program. Out of those 435, I had, uh, I think, about 275 individuals who um, arrived, went through the assessment process, um, and uh, I would, you know, had the opportunity of, you know, working directly with them. I think we had a strong finish though and I think that I uh, ended up with close to 100 people who successfully went through the program and earned some type of certification. But one thing I learned about being in this business is you cannot force people to take action. They have to uh, want to, to um, you know, have the self-motivation to make some changes for themselves and all I really am is a coach. I try to encourage them and, and uh, but ultimately, it's, it's each individual's decision um, what path they choose, you know, so. Victoria made the right choice. Victoria was a very strong uh, client who came in knowing what she wanted and was at my office knocking on the door on a regular basis, uh, yes. letting me know what she needed. And uh, we did everything we could to provide those things. I did. And, uh, she made it, yep.